Hello gang, SharpShot21 here, and we are going to do a quick install of the uh, Drift Ghost 4K Plus on the HJC i10 that I run. Um, should be a fairly quick video, fairly straightforward install. Just got to mount up the uh, sticky mount, run the microphone, make sure we got enough slack so that we can get the adapter in there, and uh, well, let's get into it. Okay, so, got the action, or the ghost. Has a 3M backer, which is nice, and a semi curve mount. I'm going to put this on a somewhat straight approach. Clip that back in. We also have our Lavalier mic, which is a very long cord, and we're not going to need this clip. So we'll pop that off and set that aside. And we have our microphone adapter. Here's the HJC. Pop off my Senna. That is going to need a charge at some point. And I'm going to pop off the visor too, just so that uh, we can get in and out of this helmet kind of easier. Now I'm thinking I want to mount this somewhere. I don't want it up there, that's a little too tall. I'd rather have it, like, down here. Let's see, what's that? Yeah, that's not a bad spot. So, just in front of... Just in front of the HJC logo. So we're going to stick that right there, I think. Let's pull the uh, come on. That's what happens when you're not fingernails? There we go. And because 3M makes really good stuff. So we're going to go right about there. And we're going to hold this down for a while. So I'll come back when this is all mounted up. Or at least I'm done holding it. Okay, so that should be on there now. Now let's pull out this cheek pad. gentle there. Okay. Now, I want to mount this ideally I want to get it up here. So, we're going to run the wire down this wire channel that's here and into here. And we'll mount it up here probably. Or we might mount it right here. Yeah, we'll mount it just inside this cheek piece. That should keep it in position for me without too much issue. So, let's get that right here.
Okay. I'm gonna have to get in there and do this myself. And you guys really can't see anything, but there's a wire channel we're gonna try to stake this into. And then I'm gonna have to weave the remainder of this just below the occipital ridge foam here. I got plenty of space. I want to have it come out right here. Just like we did with this one. At about maybe this long. Actually, if I have it come here, that would probably be best. That way I can just clip this on and then it plugs right in. So I'll come back once I've got this all tucked up inside. Okay. So I've run it up through here, and I've got it tucked behind this foam for the occipital ridge, so I can't feel it. At this point, it's just working the cheek piece back in, which it should just snake itself right in. I just ripped that all out. So, we're just going to leave it. Perfect. I'll get it back in there though. Don't forget to run the chin strap back through. That goes in there. That goes back up there. A snap there and a snap there. I'll tuck that lav mic right there for now. I am planning on getting a chin curtain, so that should be an okay spot for it. And I can always pull out more if I need it. But let's see if we do or not. Clip that in. I believe it's going to be this cover. Nope. It's going to be that cover. So we plug that in there. And that in right there. Voila. And with it being here, if I don't like the angle and that looks like it's going to be just a bit too low, I can tweak that. And that looks like it'll be more in line. But I can always rotate this around. And we can tweak the angle of the lens. That white arrow points you up to the top. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but there's a white arrow right here. So if you've got the camera body crooked, you can adjust the, the uh, camera itself so that it is pointing where you want it to go. So I think that's going to be the setup for this thing. Get the visor back on. I want to check for a software update on the Senna, so that's going to stay off. And I have to pair it with my new phone. So, remember, there's two keys there. There's a hole there. It wants to do it in the fully open position. Just snap it in. Snap it in. Close it down. All good.
All right, so that was a quick install of do the uh, Drift Ghost 4K Plus on the HJC i10. Not terribly difficult. I know I didn't show a ton of the wire tucking, but you just kind of s loop it back and forth behind that occipital pad. You'll never feel it, and it'll keep it secure. That way, also, if you need to pull more out, all you got to do is undo those two snaps, pull a little out, and redo the snaps. But we played it just enough so that we have just enough wire. You don't want too much because then it's going to flop around, get caught on stuff, hit you in the neck. Keep the wire to a minimum. Uh, one of the reasons I chose the drift, as I mentioned I think in the unboxing and in this one, is being able to rotate the camera itself so that you can see, or so that you can have the angle be correct, even if you tilt the camera body. Because if I was running like Miles Mo Action here, which I'm recording this on, if the camera body is tilted, well, you guys see a tilted image. With the drift, even if the camera body is tilted, the camera its sensor itself can be rotated so that it is up and down. That way you can put that camera body basically anywhere on any helmet you want, and it will maintain, or you can set it to maintain, the correct visual orientation for your videos. Which can be helpful, because um, trying to adjust it in post is annoying. I uh, hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it useful. If you did, leave a link down or a like down below. Uh, if you got questions, drop them in the comments down below. And I, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you next time. Sharps out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out, and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel, and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.